Hey everyone, today I have a quick Google Sheets tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to use the Google Sheets attendance sheet template that's free within Google Sheets. It's really easy to use. Maybe you're teaching a class and you need to keep attendance. This is a great free option for you. It allows you to put your names in there, the dates, and keep track of whether students were present, late, or absent. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we're bringing videos on reviews and how-tos. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to my computer and Google Sheets and have a look at the attendance sheet template. All right, so here we are on my computer. I've got my Google Drive loaded up and you can access these templates in a couple different ways. The first would be here in Google Drive to just left click on new up here in the top left hand corner, go down to sheets. And if you go to this little arrow here and hover over it, you can say from template, you could go ahead and left click on from a template. Or if you're over here in Google Sheets, you can just click on the template gallery here at the top. That's gonna open up all the templates for you. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you are gonna see an option right here under education that says attendance. You can go ahead and left click on attendance and that's gonna load up the attendance sheet here in Google Docs. So once your template loads up here, the first thing we should probably do is change the name of what the file saved as. You can see it's pre-saved as attendance. I'm gonna change mine to maybe video 101. You can change it to whatever course you might be teaching or however you wanna save that. Now below that, you'll see it, there's a couple options here. It says class name as well as teacher. If I double click on class name, maybe I'm teaching a couple of video editing classes. I can put in maybe group one here. Um, and again, you can change that to whatever you like. And the teacher's name below that, I'll just put my name there as Ken. All right, let me give you a quick overview of this template. So on the left-hand side here, this is where you'll put the students' names. We'll get into that in a moment. At the top here, you can see all the dates. So we can change that in a moment as well. And over on the right-hand side here, you'll see there's a few different options where you can see how many times people were late, how many times they had an excused absence or an unexcused absence. And you can see underneath that there's little letters. So underneath late, there's an L. Underneath excused absence, there's an E. And underneath unexcused absence, there's a U. And those are the corresponding letters that you would put next to the names over here for the dates um, and then they'll show up over here. So um, if you're wondering what P is, that means that the student was present. Now, if you did wanna change those letters, you can easily do that. If you go down here to the bottom under attendance key, you can just change them right here. So if you wanted late to be a different letter, you would just click on this L and you could change it right there to a different letter. I'm gonna leave it on L right now. So back over here on this tab, let's go ahead and start putting some students' names in there. And again, you can keep putting them in here. I'm gonna just put in the four that are here. Maybe we had Sandra, whoops, Sandra, and we had um, Bobby, and we have, let's see, maybe we have Luke, and maybe we have um, Kendra. All right, so we've got our names in there. And let's go ahead and change the dates for our course as well. So up here at the top, you'll see all the dates. If you double click on these, a calendar will pop up and you can select the exact date. Now, for some reason, this is showing up as September 2000. Of course, that's not the date now. So we're gonna go ahead and just type it in manually. It'll be a little bit quicker. Maybe our course starts on October 1st. So 10 slash 01 slash 2021. And I hit enter. You're gonna see it updates that date. Now, if I want that to come across all of the dates, you'll see a little um, square or handle in the corner of the date here. It's really tiny. If I left click on that and hold my mouse button down, I can drag that all the way across to all the dates and it'll update all those dates to be in a row. Now you might be saying to me, well, some of our dates are just random dates. That's no problem. You can select on any of these days and just select the date that you'd like it to be, and you can go through them and pick all your class dates right there. Now, once you've got that all in there, we can just start putting in whether people were absent or excused late or late, etc. So you can see it's already got it filled out for the first date pre-automatically. If we wanted to delete those, of course we could. Maybe it's the next class and we wanna, everybody was late. So we can hit L, 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 L. 
and maybe the next day on the Sunday, we've got um, someone was excused absent, Sandra, and we've got an unexcused absence. Oh, we've got a lot of lates here and a late. And then for present, maybe Kendra was the only one that showed up on time. So we can put, start putting those in and you can see it's tabulating them over here on the right hand side. And you can just keep putting all of your classes in here or your, your um, attendance in here and it'll just keep updating it over on the right hand side, just like that. So just like that. And it'll keep it all up to date here. And it's really that simple to get started and to use the attendance sheet template here in Google Sheets. So I hope this quick tutorial of the Google Sheets attendance sheet template did help you out. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.